What's going on, everybody? It's your boy DC Does It, and we're here one more time for another episode of DC Re. Mm. All I ask is that the logo is here when I'm here. I take the time to be on time all the time. I am always ready. Why is no one ready? Can we just get him in here? Thank you. You enjoy your time off? You have a good coffee? Anyway, welcome to DC Reacts, the place where we remain reactionary. As you know, it is October. All of the pumpkin spice is coming back. Ugh. And we're getting ready for almost everyone's favorite season, Halloween. All the spookiness and all the gooliness and all of the ghostliness, if you will, will be making its appearance across our doorsteps. Well, probably not due to, well, you know. But all in all, we're still here. And it only behooves us here at DC Reacts to react to something Halloween based. So for the next couple of weeks, you're going to see some Halloween things. Today, however, we're going to be reacting specifically to Halloween of old. That's right. We're going to throw it into the Wayback Machine for this Thursday. And we're going to check out some old school Halloween commercials. Now, these are commercials I've never seen before, so I don't know what to expect. But I do believe that these are probably going to be interesting to say the very least. So... Let's check them out. We're gonna be reacting to some Halloween commercials from the 70s and 80s from the folks over at Some Classic Game Music. If you have not subscribed to these folks, then I highly suggest that you do so. Now, Some Classic Game Music is telling us that we're gonna be looking at some Halloween themed commercials, promos, and movie trailers. So there's no telling what we're gonna come across. Okay, so let's get these headphones on. Over the hair. Watch the hair. Oh, watch the hair. Okay, here we go. Over here, a gift certificate that turns into a soft drink. Oh, it can happen this Halloween. When you give out McDonald's Halloween gift certificates, kids take them to McDonald's and, and they get a McDonald's soft drink. Oh, a book of 20 Halloween gift certificates costs only a dollar. <laughs> and can turn into 20 regular soft drinks. It must be the magic of Halloween. Nobody can do a McDonald's can. Nobody. Do you guys remember those? Oh my God. When I was a kid in the 90s, they still had the Halloween um, gift certificates from McDonald's. I feel like they were from like McDonald Land cookies or something. I can't remember. There was something that was offered to you free at McDonald's when you got those with coupons. Oh man, the nostalgia has started. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm Freddy Krueger, and you're invited to my special get-together. So beware, you may never leave. Dial this number now. I've got some grisly details for you. And if you're one of my lucky callers selected at random, you'll talk to me live while you're awake and safe. So dial this number now if you dare. Talk to me live. And Freddy Krueger is waiting just for you. There was a hotline to talk to Freddy Krueger. So there's a little bit of coolness to that, but in the same token, I don't wanna talk to him. If it's just my look, I, he starts haunting my dreams, and then, you know, I, as the black man, don't make it. You know, and I'm not in the mood for that. Just not. <laughs> Halloween Toys R Us doesn't miss a trick, and the price is a retreat. We've got costumes for all Toys R Us kids, even grown-ups, and loads of candy, makeup, masks, and more. Toys R Us will make your Halloween super natural. So mom's a witch? So she, she gets the kids out so that she can be herself? Is that what's happening? This morning, Billy looked like any other boy, but as the moon rose, he turned into a werewolf. He used new Paws Halloween makeup kits. Wait, Paws Halloween makeup kits? They're the same people that make the Easter egg stuff. They had makeup kits for Halloween? I should have been made aware. Why did not I know about this? Why didn't anybody tell me? I could not have a Paws set. Tales of horror that will give you the creeps. This is going to be extremely painful, Mr. Bell. The most fun you'll ever have being scared. Creep Show, rated R. Seeing 
amount of roaches that just came through that drain was not something that I want for my life. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not at all. And you know, they say those are the one things that are going to survive the apocalypse. Roaches and Twinkies. May not be Twinkies with the new formula. Who knows? They may not survive. Um, if they're coming through the drain, I want to know part of that. Gosh, Burger Chef, it's Wolf Burger, the werewolf. Where can I get delicious burgers? Where can I get fun, fun food? I think Mr. Wolf then went kind of out of control with a controlled substance. What makes you think it's okay to just come back behind this stand and pick me up? In what world? I guess in the cartoon world, maybe? But not on Earth. Not here. Not for real. Can't do that. You come behind the stand at a, uh, at a fast food restaurant in 2020? Something's bound to happen. <laughs> I'm sorry, I want no parts of feeding Frankenstein with my fingertips. He, he, he don't know how to eat things. I'm, I'm not, mm -mm, not doing it. Sorry. Hallmark's ready for Halloween. And you know, it's the strangest thing. Everybody's wild about new scratch and sniff stickers. Do y'all remember scratch and sniff stickers? Oh my God, those are my favorite things. It was a sticker that you would literally scratch and then you'd smell it and it would smell like, I don't know, candy or fruit. I miss scratch and sniff things. Oh my gosh. Goblins. Werewolves, vampires, they're not real, but he is a real nightmare. Jamie Lee Curtis, Donald Pleasance, it's the night he came home, Halloween 2. Yo, Bo Peep, what you got in your bag? Introducing Roy Rogers' Big Chicken Deal. Two plump and juicy pieces of fried chicken, hot, crisp fries, and a fresh baked biscuit. Roy Rogers' Big Chicken Deal, just $1.99. I don't know where Roy Rogers is, but I want that chicken deal. They are the children of the corn. They must obey he who walks among the rules. They live in a world where adults are not allowed to live. If you have seen Children of the Corn, comment down below. I have never seen a trailer for Children of the Corn. But, <laughs> oh man. All the nostalgia is coming back. Children of the Corn. A new kind of nightmare. An adult nightmare. Stephen King's Children of the Corn. Rated R. Get your hands on the spooky sounds tape, full of creepy sounds and Halloween theme songs. Oh my gosh. If you remember the spooky sounds tape, if you remember cassette tapes at all, please comment down below, like this video. But if you remember specifically the spooky sounds tape, the tape that you used during Halloween to spook everybody that came to your house for candy. I need you to comment, I need you to like this video, and I darn sure need you to subscribe. $2.95 with any $5 Hallmark purchase, only at participating Hallmark stores. Ah! It's a scream. The Halloween experts at Magic Manor have everything you'll need this year, including actual character masks from famous motion pictures. And they can show you the proper application of makeup to impress that special someone. Magic Manor's professional hand-painted custom masks start as low as $2.50. This Halloween, remember Magic Manor. Wigs, masks, makeup, costumes, shockingly authentic. Halloween masks as low as $2.50? Do you mean... $2.50 or $250. Hey, Mama, what are those things you're wearing? My trick-or-treat safety cups. They're shiny aluminum foil with bright orange stripes, so they reflect light. Me? Where'd you get them? Right at McDonald's. 
this Halloween, be sure you're all wearing McDonald's trick-or-treat safety cups. Children should be seen and not heard. Wait, wait, what was that? Seen and not heard. What is that? What am I looking at? Cups. Children should be seen and not heard. I think I'm disturbed. What was that? I know what it looked like. It was really blurry, so I couldn't tell. I was going to comment about the reflective cups, but that just threw me off. I don't know what that was. Ugh. Make Halloween fun with one-stop shopping at Woolworth or Woolco for your Halloween needs. Woolworth. Costumes from $1.83 to $3.99, like $6 million man, bionic woman, superheroes, Batman, Superman, Spider-Man. Those costumes used to be $3.99. Four bucks for a costume. And, and a new favorite for girls, Holly Hobby. What the hell is a Holly Hobby? What the hell am I looking at right now? Why does it look like some kind of Raggedy Ann fever dream? If you put your child in the street wearing this costume, you didn't love them very much. This Halloween, give the safe treat. Thank you. That helps treat the disabled. Thank you. Give Easter Seal safe Halloween coupons. Good for special treats at local stores and restaurants. Thank you. Give Easter Seal safe Halloween coupons. Thank you. You don't want them damn coupons. Look at him. He just being nice because he got to be. But in the back of his head, he wants to maul somebody's face off. I think you'll like this house. Uh, isn't this supposed to be haunted? Haunted? What an absurd idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, what would a ghost be doing here? <laughs> haunted. No other diet soft drink delivers the real cola taste of one calorie diet coke. The real one. It's lifting more and more spirits every day. The move is on to diet coke. If there's one thing I think a ghost is not coming back for, it's the taste of diet coke. Now, Matt Pat might disagree with me, but I'm just saying. Ah, uh, well, I think that's just about gonna do it for me. I really think that was a good compilation. There was some good stuff in there. There was some stuff I'd never seen before. There was some stuff I was fully unaware of, and I don't know if I'd ever want to really see or try or know about in any regard. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go check out the people over at Some Classic Game Music. Also, if you enjoyed this video, or any of the videos like it that have been done so far, then please like, comment, subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell because how else will you know that we're here? That being said, this does it for another episode of DC Reacts. We'll catch you next week for a really fun one. Peace.